Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the Squark Pyramid to send messages to the Roland JDXI. So I've got my Roland JDXI connected by MIDI and you can see the screen. You can see the screen of the pyramid and you'll be able to see the other camera slightly above to, to do this. Now, they've all got to be on the same MIDI channel, so I'm just checking on the JDX site, the MIDI channel, and we're on channel one. So I'm going to get my parameter guide for the JDXI so that I can choose the preset the preset that I want. Now to do this we need to put the messages into um, the pyramid and first of all I'm going to make sure that there's a track and that it's on channel one and you can see that it is. So I've done that by pressing track and the channel button, but you can see my finger anyway. <clears throat> so we know that's okay. Now what we're going to do is press the step button and I'm going to turn right the main knob, that central one between the display and the live button, and I'm turning it to the right to CC messages. So now I need to set the message. Now, the control change for the Roland uh, is controller number zero and controller number 32. So I'm going to go, we're already at zero, which is bank select. Now the implementation chart for this tells me that I want that set to the value of 85. In fact, that's the same for all the presets on the JDXI. The first controller number zero is always 85. To do this in the pyramid, I press the velocity slash zoom key. Now we know it's velocity because the step track is on and the, the button is marked in green with velocity. Now if I change the knob now, you can see the value changing. So I'm going to take that up to 85. That's set. Now I'm going to, there we go. Now I'm going to go to 32. And there we are. Now the value for this one is going to be, uh, I want H, so I want one. So I'm going to press the velocity key again and change this to one. Now they need to be entered in order. So the first one I did was the MSB, which was the controller zero. The second one, this one, is the LSB. And in the column that wanted one, so I've set that to one. and that's now entered. Now I'm going to go to the program control message and that is the very last one. And you can see there it's gone to program change. Now I'm going to, I'll go to H01 first. So I'll go to 065. There may be an offset, I can't remember with this one, um, but I'm gonna change that to I'll change it to 66 and see what happens on the display because I know with the JGXI for bank H 65 to 128 is the um, is for that bank 01 to 064 would have been for G so I know that now I believe it's one minus because of the fact that we have an offset because it starts from zero which suggests that that should be 64. So I'll put, I'll put 65 on them, we'll have 0, 2 on the preset. And 
there we go. So you've got to be sure. The thing I don't like with this is that the it's difficult to tell whether the sequence is on or not. The sequence for this has got to be on. So if I do that, that's a different colour now and it's flashing. Now I believe that's telling me that there are other sequences of those messages here because I'm in the message part. So if I go down to now, and this is what I mean about the offset. There we go, 64. Now, there we go, that's in. There we go. It goes to H61. Now, just to prove this again, I'll go to a different bank this time. I'll go to the G bank. So I'll do 063. There. And I'll double click. Now I'll press it. You'll see it's there. Now I'll go to 32 to set this one right and I want that to be one which it is so this should now take us to G and if you saw the display it did and now what we of course want to do the, the point about this is that when we save that message with the sequencer I don't have to worry about what preset I don't have to write down manually what preset I was on on the JDXI as it's now stored as a message here. Uh, another trick is that if you press display you'll see you'll see a different view. So there you can see the steps and there you can see 32 because you may want to put the message on a different step. Um, There we go, so you can see it changing. Okay, there's no automation on these other channels because it says no automation. Now I'll go to 32, we know there's automation. If I take it down to zero, there we go, one, no automation. There we have automation. And now what we must do is not forget that we're in the CC message mode. So to get back into our normal mode, we press track and now I'm in note mode. And you can see here 